Okay, let's start at the beginning. Complete the square. I'm going to factor a 6 out because it makes it easier to deal with it. You get 6 x squared minus 7 over 6x plus 3. No change there. You still get 6x squared minus 7x plus 3. I'm taking half of uh, the coefficient on x and square it. Now it be 49 over 144. And let's see, I guess 6 times 24, right? That's 120. Yeah, 6 times 24. So it's going to be, let me write that down for you. 6 times 49 over 144 is going to be 49 over 24. All right? So I'm really not adding 49 24. I'm really not adding 49 over 144. I'm adding 49 24s, which means I have to take it away. All right, let's write this down now. You get 6x minus 7 twelfths squared plus, well, I got to do this now. Well, that's going to be what? 3 times 24 is 60, 72. So it's going to be 23 24 And this is going to be my gold standard, if I can get to this form over here. And we've been doing this for a while now, all right? Now, why is that? It's because the first term is so easy to analyze. You know, if I want to get this thing to disappear, it would disappear when x equals 7 twelfths. And then to get a value of 23 24 there. All right? So then the question is, is, is it a min or a max? It, it, hopefully over time that you're not spending too much time thinking about it, you start seeing it, all right? I'm not saying you're there yet. Well, I hope you realize the smallest this could be is zero, and that curves at seven twelfths. But after that, it's going to be a positive number. And a positive plus 23, 24, that would get bigger and bigger. So this has to be a minimum. All right, let's read the key. Let's see if we got that. Whoops. Okay. Least value is what I'm calling a minimum. It occurs when x is 7 twelfths. And what's the value? 23 24 Thank you.